Welcome back to Honey's Adventures in Siberia. All right, well, let's reset it. That's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, it the button looked like a Vorlberg key. Hans is slick. But it was really subtle at the same time. Oops. Gotta do one more. We don't want you. We want to talk to Oscar. All the way down. Boy, Hans is like the best long distance travel agent ever. He's got this whole thing planned out. How long the train will go. Oh, she's automatically. Hey, you there. That looks suspicious. I wonder if we could have the door open now. That door is locked. I've got to find another way around. Well, maybe he was careless and left it open, but no. Back to Oscar. Yes? Kate, can you hear me this time? Yes, I can hear you just perfectly, Dan, but I can't talk to you now. I'm in a real hurry. I wanted to say sorry. I know I wasn't very understanding last time. I've been feeling a bit bad about it. Okay, you're a real sweetheart, but I've got to leave you now. I'm not angry with you, so don't worry. I've just got to catch up to someone, and quick. But Kate! Kate! This is really important! I'll call you back, Dan. I'm sorry. We keep telling people we'll call him back, and we haven't called him back. Well, Oscar's not there, maybe he's inside now. Of course, he is awful exposed since he's so afraid of being corroded. Surprised he wasn't in here to begin with. No, Oscar. My god, Oscar! Oh. Oscar, talk to me! Oh! I don't remember bringing Kate's luggage. Are you okay? Why, it is absolutely inadmissible, intolerable, and, and, indescribable. I, I have been attacked. What do you mean you've been attacked? My hands, I no longer have them. They have been stolen. My God, you <sighs> haven't got your hands. But who did this? What's going on here? We can be sure of one thing, Kate Walker, that this heinous crime was committed by a barbarian. A dysfunctional individual whose behavior lacks all finesse. Did you get a look at your attacker? Tell me exactly how it happened. I was standing here polishing up my metalwork. I was just thinking that with all the dust in the air, it would be a good idea to... Oscar. I was very busy, 
and I suddenly felt two powerful arms grab me from behind and tie me up before I had the chance to defend myself. I wanted to call out, but my attacker gagged me before I could emit the slightest sound. Then he dismantled my hands with a terrifying pair of pliers. It was horrible. I can believe it, my poor Oscar, but did you see him? He was a real barbarian, I tell you. He had bloodshot eyes, steel teeth, and brown scaly skin, and he emitted foul odors. He was a monster, Kate Walker, a real monster, and he had a weapon. Oscar, please calm down. Everything's going to be all right. I didn't know automatons had a sense of smell. Who the heck would be interested in automaton hands? Even though I say so myself, my hands are two marvels of technology. Please promise to return them to me intact as quickly as possible. I am very attached to them, Kate Walker. You were attached to them, Oscar, <laughs> but like you said, I'm a brave and resourceful woman. Thank you, Kate Walker. But please, above all, do be careful. Don't you worry about that, Oscar. Well, of course we're going to help him get his hands. How is he going to drive the train? Right, Oscar. Let's go find this hand bandit. And this time we're not going to be such a pushover. Kate Walker, please do not think that this problem does not concern me. But if it's all the same to you, I would so much prefer to stay here, just to be on the safe side. An engineer never abandons his train, after all. Yeah, sure. Another good reason not to lend a... <laughs> I mean... Not to help me out. Kate Walker, <sighs> even an automaton deserves a little compassion. I have just been savagely assaulted. Oh, I can feel one of my spasms coming on. I am on the verge of a clockwork breakdown. And all you do is accuse me of being selfish. Okay, take a rest, Oscar. You're not much use without your hands anyway. Oh... Anything else you remember, Oscar? I have told you everything, and I'd rather not think about it anymore. How old do you think your attacker was? How old? Such monsters are ageless. I tell you, my wheel work froze with fear. I think he must have been an older man. Someone with a soft spot for automatons. An expert who knows how to dismantle a pair of hands with a pair of pliers. I'm afraid I don't quite follow you. And what if it was Hans Varlberg himself? Kate Walker, in spite of the respect in which I hold you, permit me to say that such an idea is stupid. Hans Varlberg, my attacker. A father would never attack his offspring. Get a grip on yourself. I should point out in all modesty that my attacker must have had muscles to overcome an automaton of my build. Hmm. Maybe you're right there, Oscar. I do apologize. Hmm. Do you know if your attacker stole anything else? As soon as he'd swiped my hands, he ran away. Well, at least that's one good piece of news. The train's still intact. What do you mean, intact? I am the train engineer! It was designed for me, and I for it. By maiming me in this brutal manner, the Barbarian has also mutilated our locomotive. Without me and my hands, we're never going anywhere. Sure, okay. Could you maybe tell me how the train works, then? That is strictly forbidden, Kate Walker. There is only one engineer, and that train engineer is me. I am sure you don't have a license or authorization, or even a deputy engineer's permit. Do you really think it's the right moment to get wrapped up in red tape, Oscar? Regulations are regulations, Kate Walker. Right. I'm done. Take care of yourself, Oscar. Good luck, Kate Walker. And don't forget me. Oh, how can we forget you, Oscar? So we have a bloodshot eyes, scaly skin, odor emitting bandit who's very strong and yet able to take apart complex machine can't wait to meet this hand bandit oh yeah
metal shears. Well, we know where we're going now. That should be just the trick. I don't think it'll let me in there. No. To cut open that uh, spot that already looked like it was pried or, or corroded open already. So, we need up there. And since that's locked, I think this will be our other way around. Of course, if that doesn't work, there's always the ventilation. Little shaft we saw. I had that. I don't need up. to do that again. So it would not do it. It was trying to use my hot barred one. Now we'll take that. It's odd that it gives me the activation to make her jump. We have to have it empty-handed. You'd think it would just be like the uh, the glowy circle to move here. Yep, there we go. So we were peeking in through the hole, and now we can cut our way in. Well, that hole got pretty big when we uh, examined it. So, kind of a storage room area. Various supplies. Mostly in the form of old rusting buckets and things. Sort of looks like a spark plug. Sort of. Yep, spark plug. Room with a view. No smoking. That handprint on the grimy window. Wonder if we'll find some of those automatons working in here still. I can't go that way. Okay. But we came here and we got a spark plug. So this puzzle is solved. To get in here, the other place that we saw was that sort of machine down the elevator shaft. And if that's a spark plug we got, maybe that's what the machine needs. Hmm, maybe it's a generator to turn on all the lights. We couldn't go any further because it was dark. Let's check.
I don't need to do that again. Yeah, that actually looks like exactly what we're missing. Looks like a ventilation duct. Going to take a quick break. Hope you watch the next part because the adventure will continue. See ya!